Hello brothers. Today I decided to do my pen pal space tour and I decided to do a voiceover which is very unlike me so this might be very awkward but you know, try new things. So starting off here is just an overview of my sort of desk. That's me being a dickhead. I have fake plants so I can't keep real ones live and a bucket with my washi tape. You know how this section of my room is all my jewellery left out, as you do. This is my pen part and my plant, which had a name that I don't remember. Okay, on to the exciting stuff. Washi tape. The first few were samples I got sent from pen pals that sort of just overflowed over into the actual bin. Okay, this is all my washi tape. And I got this cute dog one in the mail today and it makes me want to die because it's so cute. Okay, so where I keep my washi tape is essentially on a big pile of letters that I'm not quite done with, so I need to reply to them or I need to take pictures of them for Instagram or outgoing letters that need to be sent to the post box. This drawer is where I keep the bulk of my pen pal supplies, pretty much everything from here. It's super messy in here, I tried to clean it a bit, clearly didn't work. Okay, so in this sort of slip thing I have hot chocolate and tea and things I can send foreign pen pals who don't have British hot chocolate and tea. Then I just have blue tack, glue, tape, hole punch, all the sticking stuff. Then in this bin I have a whole variety of shit basically. I have stickers and baggies and sticky notes and memo sheets and stamps and more stickers. It's basically just a mess that I need to sort out. Okay, so now I have my notebooks. This little cat one is basically the one I use for mail tags and tailors because it's just the perfect size. And this is the one I use for every letter because I like to design the pages myself. Then I have these little notebooks which are from Poundland for Sissy Tea which makes no sense. And my Crayola Super Tips which I use to make this thing even though I can't do it. Then I have envelopes and little baggies to put pen pal goodies in. Then underneath here is stickers and literally everything. Sticky notes. These are flat lays I made which is essentially just a bag stickers and tape in and keep goodies like that and then on the back I would stick the letter. Then obviously down to the left I have all my envelopes. Okay so by far this is my favourite part, it's just, I don't know what it is but I think it's so lovely and so cute. So this entire wall bar a few things like the Love Simon ticket and the Dan and Phil ticket and the Dan and Phil pictures are things I've been sent by pen pals which I think is just so nice that I have a wall of all the things I've been sent. One of my all time favourites on the wall is the little peachy like postcard type things that I got sent from one of my pen pals Katie because peachy pen paling and I thought it was so lovely and thoughtful. Then this here literally looks like a display in a shop so queen of retail apparently. So starting in the back we have these home stickers and some pineapple stickers and a coal sticker book. And then we have all my planning stickers, my PVC stickers, which I think might be my favourite stickers. Challenge, how many times you've aimed for stickers in this video. And in this bag, I have blue and white paper clips. More stickers. More stickers. It's like, how many times can I say stickers? We all know this is a box of fucking stickers. So in this pouch, I have tags I use for washi tape samples and more stickers. Like so many stickers. It's ridiculous actually. Yeah, so. Literally more stickers. Okay, now I've gone all through 754 packs of stickers. I have memory sheets and twine and memo pads and sticky notes. And then in these envelopes, it's all stuff pen pals have sent me that I still use. Then down by my gross ass blue carpet, I have this box and there's a moth. And I didn't want to move him because he was living his best life and I heart animals. Okay, here I have my beloved paper pads that I use for pretty much everything envelopes, flip books, flat lays. And I got them for literally like £1.50 each from Poundland. And you won't imagine how many people I told about them. Because I was extremely happy. I think it probably made my entire year. So I'm. And then in here is all my completely finished letters. So letters that I've completely replied to and completely sent off that I don't necessarily need out. But I like to keep them. So I like to reread them. Okay, sisters. Thanks for. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching my 
10 past plays tour. This might have been a really bad video and no one might be watching. But I thought it was super fun to make, so I hope at least one person enjoyed it.